that's too low. Um, I don't have anything else to put it on. Hey guys, welcome to this weekend's vlog. Um, it is Saturday, July 4th at 3.55 p.m. Um, so yesterday I made these pieces. I had the idea sketched out in my last sketchbook, which sketchbook tour just went up last weekend. Um, yeah, I really love these. I cut them because I didn't center them when I made the piece. Also, I'm sorry about all the background noise. I, um, uh, I'm running the dishwasher because it's necessary. Um, it's also really hot, so the AC is on. Um, but anywho, I'm going to scan these, make them into prints, and list the originals and the prints on Etsy. Hi you guys, so Editing Teal here. Um, using my Surface camera, which I've never used before, and it's actually pretty nice. Um, just want to say I have a shop update today um, with these prints and a few new stickers and stickers of these prints and originals. Um, go check it out. The link is down below. Um, and if you want more regular updates, check out my Instagram at Teal Corby. Thanks. Okay, back to our regular programming. These are my goals. Who knows if they're going to get done today. Um, and then I made this yesterday as well. I'm going to scan this, same thing. Um, I also made a couple of sticker designs. Here I can show you on my phone. So here's one. And another. And another. And I think I'm just going to list these as individual stickers and see how they go. But I'm going to print those and cut those today. What else did I want to do today? Ooh, I'm going to cut open my... a uh, cut open. I'm going to crack open my new sketchbook, which I talked about in my last sketchbook tour. And I'm going to, there's another sticker, like a sticker set that I want to design. Um, so hopefully I'll get to work on that too. And then there's something else I have to work on that I can't show you guys. But I should work on that today too. I don't know. This is a lot of stuff. It's not a deal. It's a Let's see how it goes. container this container has like the basically all of my paper so it's got like watercolor paper it's got printer paper um, and I've just been kind of stacking stuff on here instead of keeping it organized so 
What I'm going to do right now is reorganize it because I need my sticker paper, but I don't know what sticker paper I have um, to use because it's not organized. So I'm running into this issue where when I go to print my design in the Cricut Design Space, it just keeps going, the circle just keeps going, and when I look at my print queue, it just says that it is spooling, which I've never seen on my printer. So the pool just opened up this weekend. Okay, I had to wait. <laughs> um, they got really loud. So my printer, it just keeps saying spooling and I've never seen that before. I've only seen that at work and at work we have like, you know, one of those big industrial print 100 pages in like five minutes kind of printer uh, with toner and all of that. So I don't know why my printer is saying spooling the only thing I have not tried yet is um, not using the system dialog from Cricut, but I like using the system dialog because then I can choose the paper, I can choose, um, I can make sure the printer is printing high quality. So I'm gonna, I cleaned, I did, I run a clean, I ran a cleaning thing through the printer to see if maybe that would help kind of like I guess wake it up or something I don't know um, so I'm gonna try printing one more time so this is what I see I see this if I go down to see what my printer is doing see it still says spooling I don't know why it says that. Oh. I guess I'll try. And nothing comes up on the printer. So it's not even like a matter of waiting a long time because I already waited a long time. So I'll cancel this. Cancel this. I'm already a little bit frustrated because the mouse that I have for this computer isn't working properly and I don't know if it's the battery, but I don't have 
I don't know where our batteries are, so I can't replace it and see. So I'm using the touchpad, which I don't really want to. Okay, let's see. I'm not using the system dialog. So I really didn't want to do this, but... I didn't really want to do this, but I'm going to have to use my HP printer, which is just really disappointing. It's really disappointing because I, number one, that printer just doesn't, like, the colors are not as great as the Canon. Number two, I got really nice ink for my Canon so that it would be even better but it's just not it's not working is it it's not the it's not the wrong printer I know that I don't know let's try it on the HP and see Okay, so we have gone one step worse, and this time the printer isn't even recognizing that it's printing. I don't know what's going on. Ah, it says spooling too! Oh my gosh. And I wonder if it's because I um, updated Cricut. There was an update. Let me restart my computer and see what happens. Okay, so now that I have figured out that it's not a printer issue and it's a Cricut issue, I looked it up. And apparently, the last Windows update has an issue, has caused this issue with Cricut. So, uh, hmm, see, oh, so this says there's an update. I wonder if I should, I don't know, updates never give me issues. So that's why, like, I kind of want to do this update and then see... See if that helps, and then if not, I'll just take off the other update. Ah, I hate this. Okay. So, I found out it's a Windows problem. And uninstalled the update that was the problem. So let's see if it works. Moment of truth. My computer's going slow, hold on. As much as I love having a pool in my complex, that's really annoying. At least it's like, not a time I'd be sleeping. Um, and then especially now with COVID, it just seems so silly, like, I think Last time I checked, the science is that um, pools essentially would kill the germs, but the issue is that there's people around, so, um, you know, if you're not six feet or you're not constantly, like, cleaning, um, then it's an issue. So I don't know why you would go to the pool anyway. Not a public pool. <gasps> it's working! That was it. Oh, that was so easy. I'm so happy. It's printing. Okay, stay tuned. We're in business.
So I don't think I mentioned this earlier, but in this new sketchbook that you all chose for me, well, maybe not you all on YouTube, but you all, those of you who follow me on Instagram, um, chose this book and the sketchbook has the most pages. So it has 220 pages. Um, it's 110 sheets. So, you know, back in front 220, um, which is really intimidating. Um, I don't know how many pages my last sketchbook had, but it was smaller and it did have quite a few pages and to go from a pretty in-depth sketchbook to another one and this time it's bigger, it's eight and a half by 11, is pretty daunting. So in order to kind of get over that, I went ahead and sectioned off the book into... 22 parts. Um, so there's 22 sections of 10 pages and I worked in my brain and with my partner and some friends to think up some things that I could practice drawing and that this way when I go to make things um, or to draw things, I kind of have a little bit of an inventory of, okay, a bear looks like this, um, cups look like this, drinks look like this, jewelry looks like this. So that's what the focus is in the sketchbook. And here you're seeing me crack it open bears is the first um the first item i guess you could say in the list and yeah so far it's been great i have not finished the bear section yet but that's okay i'm not putting a time limit on myself for this it's already enough stress and expectation to get through 220 pages of 22 different things um but anywho i'm really excited about this project and I'm so happy you guys can come along with me. And thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to like and subscribe. Drop me a comment. I really love them and I always answer them because they make me so happy. Um, anywho, I hope you're having a great day, night, afternoon, whatever day or time it is. I hope it's wonderful. See you next time, sunshines.